Shamai, episode six of Show Us Your Ukes. It's been quite a while since episode five. I've been waiting for more entries for this episode. Um, I didn't quite have enough, and rather than leaving the lovely people who've sent pictures in already waiting any longer, I thought it'd be nice to show you my ukuleles as well in this episode. I need your ukulele collections, okay? Um, I've thoroughly enjoyed doing this series of videos so far, but I have run out of videos. So if you want to see your ukulele or ukuleles featured, it's really simple. There's a link in the description below to a video that explains it all. But basically, you've got to take a few photos of your ukes, um, write down a little bit of information and get that to me. It's really straightforward, okay? Um, so I really would love to carry on doing this series, show us your ukes, but I need your help as well. So maybe you've got friends with ukuleles or ukulele collections, nag them to send their pics in as well so I can continue doing this. I think we've all thoroughly enjoyed watching the videos. I know I've enjoyed making them. So episode six, sit back and relax for show us your ukes. So we're starting with Margaret from Wales, and in fact, she's really local to me because she's from Neath. Margaret started playing the ukulele in 2013, and you can see some beautiful looking instruments there. So, a couple of sopranos, a Clifton soprano that she bought in Lidl, cheap and cheerful, but she said it's not bad to play, and a Carla soprano there on the right. A couple of concerts. The Lunar High Tide with that beautiful fingerboard marking and a Carla Electro Acoustic Ukulele. Both have got nice cutouts there. Look at the wood. Big Island, Solid Coa, the concert on the left and then the World of Ukes Tenor on the right. That's made out of acacia. And I've got to say, I love looking at the back of ukuleles, especially when they're such beautiful bits of wood. So a Camise concert ukulele with a solid spruce top. I've actually got one of these as well um, with some really nice decoration on there with the flowers. Margaret's favorite ukulele, the Romero creation, that beautiful soprano ukulele. And also we've got a Flight Diana Soundwave, one of those magic sounding ukes. Now this is to show us just the depth of the Romero. It's only a soprano size, but look how wide that body is. And again, beautiful bits of wood. I love the color of that sound wave on the right hand side, the walnut coloring of the back. And this picture actually shows us that the two ukuleles have the same scale, but wow, different body size. So a really nice collection of ukuleles. Hopefully I'll get to meet Margaret in person soon at one of the Welsh events. But thank you, Margaret, for showing us your ukes. Next up is Rick, another ukulele player from Wales. He started playing about 14 years ago when his brother bought him a little cheap ukulele but he actually started as a bass guitarist playing in local bands so here's his camise eight string tenor ukulele i have to admit i've never actually played an eight string but i do like the look of that an aklot five string tenor ukulele you can see the distinctive bridge of the dove sign there for the aklot and I gotta say, I do enjoy a nice arty ukulele picture. So there's his Camise and Aklot, almost like a little yin and yang sign. And there it is, the original ukulele, the Mahalo, which now is being played by Rick's grandchildren. We've actually got one of those in school. A nice pineapple ukulele by Clearwater. He didn't actually say what size it is, but I'm gonna guess that it's a soprano. This is his newest ukulele by Snail. It's an electroacoustic with a dark, I think it's rosewood laminate by there. 
the Kamis Banjalele, and that looks like it's been well loved and played over the years. Lovely to see that hanging on the wall. And lastly, Rick's Cigar Box Ukulele. It's a three-stringer. It's fretless, so he says really it needs to be played using a slide. So it's lovely seeing Rick's ukuleles. And again, hopefully, I might catch up with him at one of the Welsh events this summer. Thank you, Rick, for showing us your ukes. So next up is George from Lincoln in England looking at his wacky ukuleles. His words, not mine. They're all built by himself. He actually started getting a kit from the internet and it turned into the Minnie Mouse uke that we see on the left-hand side. He'd always wanted a flying V, so he built himself a vukulele. And you can just see another little picture of it there because it lights up in different colours. I am loving the names of these as well. We've got the Uke Box 360 with built-in LED lights and a friend of his gave him the Quality Street tin which inspired him to build some and it's the Uke Tinnies. I did say I like the name of his creations. On the left we've got a Spookalele and there you can actually see George playing it well I'm assuming it's George and then inspired by some steampunk we've got the punkalele and again I do think that is George I love all the LED lights that he's fit into these they make them so bright and colorful George also sent me a little video of his creations being displayed I think it's in the local library actually there we are we can see the vukulele flashing its LED lights there and a little write-up of each instrument underneath just some of his ideas and what inspired him to make them. Loving seeing all of those. Not just ukuleles, yes, George has in fact got a kazoo. He has made it himself, he's added LED lights and a pickup. Awesome idea. So there we are, that's George's wacky collection of hand built ukuleles. Absolutely love seeing those. Thank you, George for showing us your ukes. Lots of you have asked for it. Yes, it is my ukulele collection. And of course I am from Wales. I finally got a bit of time to take some nice pictures and use my new drone. So I'm putting my money where my mouth is in this episode and showing you my ukulele collection. I'm going to start off with the concert ukuleles. There's a Camise spruce top on the left. My snail electroacoustic with a really sweet sound. My Camise akoom is my everyday that I take back and forth at school. The Cordoba was my first electric acoustic. And then the Flight Voyager, that's the concert size one. One of my favourites, and as you can see there, it's actually the passive electroacoustic. Some really colourful ukuleles, the Lanakai Purple Quilted Maple, one of my first ukes, the Brunswick, but of course with the Welsh flag. The Lava U Carbon Fibre, go and watch the review on that when it's interesting. An Enya Nova U, another carbon fibre, and my Brunswick Striped Purple Ukulele. I love the look on this Lanakai. It's just a shame it's not a louder uke, but it's nice to play, I have to admit. Some weird and wonderful ones now. My Bohemian Oil Can Ukulele, I missed that in the drone shot. The Camise Banjalele, the Carla Ziracote Soprano, my husband's Harley Benton Electric Uke, and my little Sopranino Pocket Ukulele by Carla. What a cute looking thing. And I did mention it a moment ago. Go and watch my review on the Lava U. It is a really nice ukulele, but there are a few little issues with that one. On to the bases and tenors now. So my Carla Solid Mahogany Fretless U Bass. My Flight Voyager Tenor Ukulele. Bat King Fretless. The Caramel is another tenor. That one's got a low G and a nice cheap and cheerful horse bass ukulele there. And another gorgeous looking back of a ukulele, this time my tenor Voyager, Solidacacia. 
Bat King, fretless, just showing off those really nice thunder brown strings. A little bit of texture going on. And the solid body ukes, both bass and ukulele. My flight pathfinder, the twins, the Fana Exosphere and the Fana Peewee bass. My beautiful Nick West Carla, California U bass. My cheap Pinky by Muzu. My flight Vanguard ukulele. And then on the far left, the Reza LP Tenor uke. There's Pinky showing off its new strings, the Thunder Black, a real improvement on the sound. And my sparkling purple Fana Exosphere. It's a custom built, built in South Africa. My first solid body electric ukulele was my Flight Pathfinder with those stunning yellow to blue colours. And my most recent is the Flight Vanguard showing off that absolutely gorgeous maple top. There's my Reza LP and looking along the wall we can see a few others including Pinky and the Nick West Carla signature model. So I've had great fun getting all my ukuleles ready for pictures, although I've got to admit I did make a bit of a mess. I think I counted about 27 altogether, but as you can see there, I've forgotten my oil can uke for this shot. I do hope you've enjoyed seeing my ukulele collection. So I do hope you enjoyed that. Yes, there were three from Wales and one from England, very much UK based. But as I said earlier, it would be lovely to showcase more ukuleles or ukulele collections from around the world. It doesn't matter whether you've got one or whether you've got a hundred. We love looking at ukuleles. So a massive thank you to everybody who's submitted their photos so far um, but it'd be lovely to see even more coming in soon as always if you've got a comment or a question please feel free leave it below give us a like if you've enjoyed and don't forget to subscribe so you don't miss out on new videos thank you for watching